everybody, it is Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa, and we are here for day two of the 13 days of Halloween art, where every day we're gonna meet up live and paint a Halloween themed painting. On the canvas today, you see my spooky pumpkin, as has been much, much requested over the year, because you guys love it when I do me a jack-o'-lantern craziness and I love doing it. it's a lot of fun if you want to know what everything is going on in the schedule in the description below besides all the materials we're going to be using for today's project there's a link to the calendar of Halloween week so you can see what themes are coming up and plan and we're going to be finishing 13 days out with a live pumpkin carving you and me I'm going to hook you up for Halloween and show you guys how to rock out that pumpkin carve so you guys can be like on your front porch going yeah I carved that pumpkin I carved it myself. On the mic today is my husband, John. No, I'm off mic. Oh, my mic is not good. Well, it, so yesterday, you might have noticed I was hot as I'll get out, and you're like, wait, you're wearing a sweater today. Well, I got one of the kids' colds, and so now I'm not a consistent body temperature, and I seem to be going from shivery to crazy hot, so it's going to be a fun show for John. Air conditioning on, off, on, off, on, off. Well, we don't have it like on automatics. He's going to walk over there, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> But all that's changing. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> How are you guys doing? We have, a, we have a nice little crowd of people here today. They're we, very happy to be here painting with us today. I love my weekday 11 a.m. crowd so much. Yeah. But what's 11 a.m. Central Standard Time for me? But this is a global community, so it could be middle of the night for you. Mm -hmm. Hi, night owls. <laughs> <laughs> um, which I guess is our Australia community. It's Hi. true. Yeah. So if we're looking at this, you guys asked me a lot, how difficult is this? We rate on a one to three hoot scale, one being easiest, three being our most challenging paintings. This is a definite solid two, but the reason it's a two is just in this area. There's a lot of fun layering. And this came out of, um, there was a post in our Facebook group um, of a wonderful artist who was trying to paint her pumpkins at night and she was struggling with her night glow. And I thought, man, I could show you guys how to do that. So this is where he hits the full tooth because I'm showing you how to do the night glow. Mm -hmm. But the background in the grass is way one hoot. Yeah, <laughs> so super easy. Super easy. And I'm going to show you guys a bunch of tips and strategies to succeed at that. Are we ready to get we going? Definitely ready to go. All right. For the full materials, if you need to know them at the beginning, in the description. But we'll be calling them out as we go. I'm on a 9 by 12 canvas board here. And we like to do some wishes, and the first wishes we wanted to send some light and love and well-being to Las Vegas. Yeah. Just that everybody is okay. And then also, um, I wanted to send some uh, support and love. Uh, there's been a lot of conversation about eating disorders and a struggle in relationship to food. Yeah. So my wish is a greater understanding and compassion for this issue, right? That we remember that the people who are battling this, you know, they are struggling and it is hard and it's not a willpower issue. Yeah. Um, you know, even John with Crohn's, some days it's really hard for him just to eat. Right. And yeah. there's all kinds of reasons, you know, from, you know, those inside of our minds and in our bodies that can separate us from food. And just if the world could just be more understanding, compassionate, that all of these reasons are not. Yeah. You know, selfish ones, but they're they're really ones that need a hug and need a lot of compassion. So I'm just wishing everyone going through that, whether it's through biology or through chemistry yeah. to to be better. That conversation really impacted me in groups. <laughs> So, love you guys bunches. Are there any wishes we got to get on the canvas? Before? No, I, th I think the big one is just for, for Las Vegas okay. this year right now. And I'm, I'm, we, our hearts goes out to everybody there. So. so, the background. The background is going to be a thalo blue. Mm -hmm. I think we've got a picture in picture here for you. Oh, do we? There we go. That's always super helpful. A thalo green. Um... I'm going to, you could use a titanium white, heavy bodied, if that's all you have. But I'm going to show you this gesso trick. We're going to talk about this a little bit over this 13 days, right? I'm going to put out gesso. Gesso is a really interesting product. Yes, it's for surface preparation. But in this background, it's going to allow me to exchange out for fluid paint. 
right? So if you, if you have craft paint, you're all good, but what you're looking for is something with better flow. And the reason for this is, is that you guys talk a lot about how my canvas covers versus your canvas covering. Oh, I really needed that. Um, <laughs> it just fell down. <laughs> just I'll see if I can get that for you. <laughs> okay. um, but not in a second. It's okay. I'll, I'll let you know when I need it. We'll get it later. Um, so, sorry. I, for some reason today, I'm just completely out of my own mind. Some of you know why. But moving forward. <laughs> You're so quiet and fast. I'm going to put a bell on you. <laughs> I'm also going to put out a little black for this project. I am going to put out my fluid black. There's just a lot of ways. I guess my point in all this when I show you guys different ways to do things is there's a lot of ways to do a painting. And they're not really right or wrong. There's right for you and right for the painting. And I just want you guys to be sort of creative and out of the box. So you could be using a fluid white paint, a craft paint, your titanium white. Any of those will work. I'm going to mix up a... Um, Thalo turquoise, but this time I'm going to mix it up um, a little more to the blue no. than the green. So see, I'm taking like one part out of the green, but two parts blue. Yeah. Now, Hansi had a question here. Oh, I love Hansi's question. Yes. Now, it lists a, uh, acrylic glazing liquid gloss. Does that mean that it adds a glossy shine to the pumpkin? Yes. Whenever you see matte gloss or semi, it's telling you the finish. And you guys might have noticed that in your paintings, sometimes they might have two or three finishes in them, which is why one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why we varnish at the end. Yeah, I'm drinking lemon water and honey. Mm. So you may see me sipping that. I have, I have something mm, slightly, slightly more. I would do cold medicine, but then there would be no art lesson. <laughs> there would just be me wandering <laughs> around in little confused, muddled circles. No, there'd be cinnamon up front watching. <laughs> so, so she'd be like snoozing on the sofa. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> so I'm actually, I'll use a number 10 bright today. I'm going to use my number 10 bright, right? Mm -hmm. Because all of you guys probably have one of these. This is a synthetic brush, not this specific one but a number 10 bright of some kind. It's got a synthetic filament, a firm spring, and a sharp edge. I'm gonna dip this in water and drag off the extra water. Really pay attention to how much water your brushes are holding. These are designed to hold the right amount of water, right, right from the get-go, but you may find that your brushes are not. So just if, if they're pulling out Lake Erie into your paint, you may wanna do an extra drag or wipe off. See, I have to dip several times to even get any water in my paint. So this is thoroughly mixed, this color, and I'm going to come pull out some white. And I'm going to start from the corner and start thinking about this light that's coming down in my canvas. See how I'm dragging very flat? And because the white on my brush is not thoroughly mixed, it's streaking on the canvas. This is my friend. Yeah. I'm going to pull out some of the gesso. Now the gesso is going to give me a very, I'm brushing up from the bottom, is a very matte finish. So and on top of a nice flow and surface, it does this. The reason acrylic artists often don't use gesso in their painting is that it can wear out your brushes uh, quicker. Yeah. That's it. So gesso can be kind of hard on your brushes. Can be hard on the brushes. It's very matte and it's not particularly loaded with pigment. Like my titanium white from Golden is just loaded with tons and tons of luscious pigment. Yeah. So I'm just working my little light. And it's going to radiate fan out. And I like being able to just softly drag over the area again and again. Oh, gosh, I hope everybody is okay today. Oh, you know, everyone is really happy to be here today. We've got, we've got over 350 people here, almost 400 people here just that's an incredible morning it's a, day. It's a, it's a very interesting Monday morning out here. I love this. You know we have people that are doing all of the Halloween paintings with us, all 13. You know what? I am so glad to see that. I'm excited to see the collection together. I mean, this is, this is probably the most exciting collection that we've put together yet for yes. me. Yes. You know? um, I'm, I'm, so, oh, I, w before I keep waxing on philosophical here, Elizabeth would li like to know, gesso is a ground, right? Yes. Okay. It's a surface preparation. It is not, by the way, though, guys, a sealant. Okay. So It just prepares the surface to take paint. But say if you had some weird substrate that would leak up into your paint, like gesso won't stop that. So if you did a Sharpie 
to draw in your sketch and then you gessoed it, the Sharpie would keep bleeding through. You oh. would have to, to prevent that, put um, a barrier like a GAC 100 or a gloss beam and varnish, some sort of barrier that would not allow the seepage. Very unfortunately, an art called SID, um, is that <laughs> the the structural induced <laughs> discoloration. So many feels on that, but it's okay. Smarter people than me came up with that, so I, I respect and understand. So now, isolation coat. It's an isolation I, coat. That's the word we're looking for, right? You want to isolate. You want to put your stains in the corner and not let them come out. What am I doing? I, I'm, I have a head cold. <laughs> That's a very nice mug you have there. This is a very nice mug. This is the Crafty Chica. She's she's very crafty. She's very crafty and 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 she writes mystery crafting novels if you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where crafty which people is, solve mysteries. Which is which is I mean <laughs> so awesome. I, you know what though is I think that there's it's some truth so to that because awesome. it's your crafters are the one who's going to notice they're going to be like, "Hey, I noticed that <laughs> that car is out of place. I'm and just saying. This, they see the if details. It, if a network wanted to pick up one as a TV show and run with it, I would watch a crafting sleuth. Uh, yes. Okay. So. It, it's, it's like it's like the modern MacGyver, only with needlepoint and super glue. Now I'm going to go a little more green into my mixture. See how I'm doing? Adding a little more green like you do. So phthalo turquoise is, is, you know, the base color is just a one-to-one -one mix, one part phthalo blue, one part phthalo green. But you can range it more to the blue or more to the green. This becomes super fun in ocean painting. Now I'm going to get a little of my black here so that I can oh, doing do these dark forest colors. And notice that I'm kind of like pulling from where there's black and the green. Yeah. I'm going to get this wet here and pulling, pulling, pulling. And we're going to come oh. from this outer corner. And if it's too green, like if you're not liking how green it is, you just go right into the blue. You want it more green, but not totally green. These are weird adjustments that we have to make in paint. Right? Mm-hmm. Ah. Got some splatter. I do. So what that's from is the canvas board. This is a uh, canvas board is is a wonderful, wonderful surface. Mm -hmm. um, it's economical and it stores really easily. And right now, um, given that I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of paintings around the house, storage has become a real concern. Yes, it has. I'm going to get some white onto my brush so I can blend these two seams together. Look at that nice blend right there. Oh yeah. See how I did that? Nice blend right there. Grabbed a little white. And just where this seam was wet and this seam was wet, I blended. And then where I've got this in the middle, where I don't like it, before it dries, all I've got to do is come with my blue and a little white and say, no, goes away. And it says, okay, if you insist. And I say, I do, because I'm the artist and you have to listen to me. Yeah. You are my canvas and I'm in charge here. Maybe nothing else in my life, but here... <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs> Sorry, it's a weird day. <laughs> Just all the way around. So from the outside edge, I'm coming from the outside edge with my darkest paint, and I'm pulling up, you can see, in long pulled strokes. See how my strokes are long pulled strokes? Yeah. Whoop. It's a trap. General Akbar says. He's, 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 a, he's an admiral. He's not a general. Sorry, Admiral Akbar. I'm sick. You just, you, you rolled a one on your... I often roll a one in life. I'm only good on tabletop, and we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I punked myself right there. <laughs> That's cool. So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to want to blend those two seams again. But I just want to, you know what, I'm not liking the stroke I can get. So look at me change the positioning of my canvas so I can get a nice smooth stroke. Yeah. Because that's what I wanted. Smooth stroke. Dee Dee smooth is just like. criminal. She says she loves how you just fixed it. Just went. Like, yeah, just, I don't, you know, I got all kinds of things in my life that are super challenging that I can't fix, like that traffic light near me. <laughs> <laughs> but art, yeah, this is my jam. And hopefully becoming your jam. Yeah. I'm going to put a little white on my brush and blend those two areas together. 
Where I have, uh, where I need to, I often will flip my brush um, to the side. And if you're wondering why I'm not backed out my long handle brush all the way to the end of the handle, it's because I'm in a very small space and I have to paint very up close on my canvas like you would um, at a table. So that's the only reason. Now I'm going to evaluate my light. Evaluate the light. Evaluate your light. How and if, you, if you're happy, be happy. And if not, you can come in. See, I'm just streaking and making sure that the you're texture more of the fan, I'm just pulling it down. Quick motions, just pulling it down. It's almost dry brushing. It's almost dry brushing because it's dry now, but it implies the line. This is something I loved in art school. Implied line. <laughs> we talked about it a lot. Big tool of the artist. Now I'm going to sip my uh, lemon and honey because I need to. You have some sippy sippy. And say, how are you guys doing? I love that so many of you are painting along live. Yes, there are a lot of folks out here painting. Over, over, oh my gosh. Wow, I looked over. We have over 400 people here. We have 430 people here with us right now. I'm like, wow, everyone. Hello. I love that you're painting at home live. Yeah, we should. And I tip my lemon and honey to you. You know, when in when, my crafty chicken mug. When we get like over 300 people here, we we like to celebrate and just because it's such a nice thing to have so many people come I'm and gonna paint do, together. I'm going to do slightly head cold dance in the <laughs> bubbles. This is comforting. And you know, it's so amazing when we have so many of you guys come to celebrate with us. We just love to celebrate and say thank you. So if you're at home, get up and dance. Don't forget to celebrate life. And remember, if you can't get up, wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, right? Right? Even if you're sick like cinnamon, you can sway with in the sway bubbles. Sway with the bubbles. Listen. Sway in the bubbles. So I'm feeling this right now. This is a new thing I didn't know right till this moment. If you're, say, under the weather. Oh, that went right in my eye. If you say you're under the weather. <laughs> too many bubbles. Too many bubbles. No, there can never be too many bubbles. I just want to observe something here. What's this? Oh, I'm going to get some comments in the comments. But I'd like to observe that when you're not feeling well, if you could get someone to blow bubbles and drop them on you, this is very comforting. It's very comforting. Just stand, just just to have you. You would just like to have a little bubble, a, a some bubble rain. It's super comforting. It's very nice. Grab, grab, grab your kids, your significant other, your furry, furry significant other, just whoever you have in your life. Get them to blow some bubbles, bubbles. on you. Mm. It's, oh, this it's, is it's nice. bubbles in. We'll just call it the bubbles. Bubbles in. All right. Back, back to the. Yes. Back to our regularly scheduled brushing. We have to transfer onto this, so I'm going to need to dry oh, you this. Just, you have. Wow, we just bubbled that up, didn't we? Oh, it's fine. And this is fine. On this one, it's going to be fine because that just adds flavor to it. Uh, well, no, because the gesso isn't as impacted. Oh. <laughs> Interesting stuff, isn't it? It is. Chemistry. Art is chemistry. It is chemistry. So I you need to say you have to turn off the AC for a unit while I, while I dry this, then. If I were to say turn this on right now and the AC were on, the broadcast would be over. <laughs> so thank you, guys. For all coming and hanging out with us today, wow, it's it's been this has been a very wonderful, wonderful week for you for us guys, and I have to say thank you so much for coming and being part of our family. We love love having you guys here. We love doing this. We love being part of your family, and I can't wait to see all of your paintings that are going to be coming out this week because, man, thirteen days of Halloween this is going to be something pretty exciting. We've got all the new girls that are coming up. We've got these cool pumpkins. Uh, and, up oh, there she is. Oh, I got the wrong button. Where is it? That button and then that button. Oh, there you go. So you're going to transfer that for us? I'm going to transfer this right here. You guys have the traceable if you go through the link on the description. In the description just, just go below. go by. All you have to do, no, it doesn't cost you any money. You just have to go by and log in. That's all you have to do. And then you can go to the link and get the traceable. It's a PDF. You're welcome to it. And this is Serol transfer paper, and I am choosing red. It's oh, so that it comes in different colors. It comes in different colors, and he, my mom told That's me about this, cool. and I have to say I'm loving it so much. It's this stuff. They've got the sample pack, which is what I've been using, and it comes in a white and a red and a yellow and a blue. We bought that, and it, yeah, okay, we bought this. This is not sponsored. We no. just bought it. I'm just like you know. We'll always tell you. 
Yeah. We'll be bragging about it. <laughs> we'll <laughs> always tell you. <laughs> when an it artist gets paid, we celebrate. <laughs> we are not the Kardashians. No illusions. <laughs> None. All right. I've seen my bottom in the mirror. I know who I'm not. Okay. It's a weird day. You're so I'm weird. going to trace over the lines I have here on my transfer paper. And I like this stuff because sometimes transferring over acrylic is really challenging. A lot of the traditional transfer papers don't stick to the acrylic medium because the acrylic medium is essentially a plastic. And so they don't work. And sometimes the chalk won't take. I mean, you guys have expressed some frustration at this, mm -hmm. right, in the, in the past. So I totally, totally know. But you mean, I'm just drawing my little eyes. I love his little face. He's a little bit wicked. Mm. A little bit. Is well, he? he's smiling, though. He's not I gave you some carved perspective just in case that was something you would want. Oh, I, I like the. I think the carved perspective in the pumpkin makes him, I mean, that's very pumpkin-y. Well, I think when we go to carve our own and do some of our own pumpkins, this will be interesting looking back at that. Deborah was asking about using glow-in-the-dark paint. Uh, absolutely, and we did a video where we did <laughs> glow-in-the-dark pumpkins with some friends of ours. Indifference from pumpkin. YouTube. That's right. We had YouTubers over. Indifference. Indifference pumpkins creator has has. Oh well, he's just got a job and a kid now, so we're missing him and his his YouTubery. He he's on he's on. Uh, Dadcation. <laughs> Dadcation. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> So I'm just reminding myself that I have lines. These lines just tell me the direction my little pumpkin's going. You could, you don't really need to trace in the grass. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that did. Oh, quite beautifully, right? Oh, wow, that red worked quite nicely. Quite nicely. Quite nicely. Let's see how it erases. I'm going to get a clean brush. A clean brush. Clean brush with clean water and see if my traditional method of cleaning up boo-boos works. <laughs> it does. Does it? Yep. That's all I need out of a transfer what are you doing paper. There? Hold on. If it smoogies, I just need to know that I can get rid of it if it's where I don't want it. So you're just scrubbing it out a little bit with water? This works. If you're painting really economic paint, this may not be as happy of a moment for you as it is for me. Because sometimes that paint doesn't really set. It lifts. It lifts. If you get, But mine doesn't lift. So that would be one of the benefits of that paint that I like so much. I don't really have to worry that much down here cleaner brush would have been good <laughs> but it's okay all right now I've got all my boo-boos that I didn't like away and I'm gonna get a number I'm gonna get my my number 10 back and I'm gonna make some grass some grass some grass 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 grass, grass. that's what you, that's how you put in grass you have, you to, have, you to, have to, to talk to, say to it, it with me grass, 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 grass. they have to talk to it you have to grass, 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 grass. so I'm gonna put out a little more green kind of like Kind of like be the ball, but paint be the, the grass. Ball, paint the grass. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> grass, 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 grass. Oh, I love the grass. <laughs> paint the grass. All right, so here I am with my beautiful Goldilocks number 10 bright, dipping in my water, dragging off the extra like you do. I'm going to take a little blue, put it in my bl uh, uh, green, and then come over and grab a little black. And I'm going to just sort of paint in the basis of my hill. Okay. All right, I'm going to come under my little pumpkin. Pumpkin hill. Pumpkin hill. And I'm going to curve my hill off here. And I'm just going to paint this base all in green, black, blue. Green, black, blue. Green. So one little part blue, some green, and some black. It's loosely mixed, guys. It doesn't have to be a thoroughly mixed color. And I'm going to brush stroke, I'm going to stroke, even though I'm coming over this with my fan brush with a whole bunch of grass, I'm still going to stroke the direction of my hill, if that's cool. And you can see this second color really gives me some depth and form to my hill, like you would want to have. in a space like this. Now I'm going to take my fan. You could do um, lots of different uh, grass strokes. We've shown many, many, but I'm going to show you my fan one. I'm going to take my number four. I'm going to pull out the green and a little black. 
So where are you going to start? Because I'll, I'll want to zoom in so they can see where you're, because you're. I'm going to want a pretty dark color here. And so I'm going to, the trick with grass is to make sure that you don't make little hedges, right? Little same line, same line. Now the fan does help me with that. It is my friend. See, because it wants to make lots of different length lines. And then I can always sort of come on the edge and curve it up. Look at that. Just pulling some grassy, fluffy, soft grass hills. Soft grass hills. And then what I can do, I'm going to get a little more blue on my brush. And I can even come and get some. See, I'm smidging into the white. Yeah. This is all very loosely mixed. Come here and just. I like to think about that the pumpkin would have some weight. Get a little more green if you need it. This is a very kind of background base. So we're going to be coming in with some brighter colors. This is just the base texture that we're talking about. See how that gives that feeling of a little grass field with the grasses pushed down? Oh, yeah. And I didn't really work very hard for it. Not you at all. You could do this with little brush strokes. We just go scratch, 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 scratch. But I called today. So, and that's how I designed it in original <laughs> And then I'm going to rinse that out. All right. And that is the basis of that. That's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Are you straightforward? I'm, I'm rarely, rarely. No, don't tell them. <gasps> I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot I was not supposed to show. I'm so used to just following whatever it is you're doing that it's almost become it's second secret, nature now. John. Because I have to, it's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm so curious now and I have control of the camera. This is my CAD red light. Paint of controversy, my CAD red light yes. that I love so much. And then I've got some Docs purple. I do want to say, though, if a factory chose to change its products and stuff like that, I totally support that. Right? Like mm -hmm. uh, some of the companies right now are going cadmium free. So while it is not an issue for you or I, it could be an issue in their factory, and I completely respect that. Yeah. 100. Safe As long as there are safe people practices, we're good for whatever. Yeah. It, you know, <clears throat> if a company is making safe people decisions, we think that's fantastic. Yes. I'm going to get my titanium white out now. Mm. My real white. I do think upgrading white is worthwhile um, for your heavy body painting because you really need a nice pigment load in your white to get the performance that you want. And I probably, I don't think I need glazy medium. We'll see how it goes. Me and the studio are two different temperatures today. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, we, oh. What are you doing over there? I'm looking for my number four cast on. Did you find Whoop, it? And I'm stepping down my cord. Oop. We, yeah, we're, we're, this is a very small space with a lot of low wires all over the place. <laughs> but, but not for long. But not for long. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. I've got this number four cat's tongue. Yes. And I'm a pain in my pumpkin. Thank you, guys. So what you going to do with that number four cat's tongue? I'm going to dip it in water like okay. I do. And I'm going to, my first coat of my pumpkin is my cad red and my diox purple. Okay. Pretty dark color. When you're painting things at night, yep. generally what you'll find when you're trying to create that glow is that you need to have a rich dark base at which you start. And then you build up lighter views and and colors. Okay. So that's a lot what messes with people because they go, okay, pumpkin is orange. Yeah. And so they start with orange. They wouldn't necessarily start with like a deep blue or purple or any of the colors that you might actually see in a glowing pumpkin. So this is a great way. And at the bottom here, I'm going to get way more purple on my brush because we want him to be super dark down here, don't we? Mm-hmm. So I'm just enjoying my number four cat's tongue. You could use a number four bright or a round. Just whatever brush feels super comfortable in your hand and makes you very happy. The whole point of painting time is happy time. That's why I don't even mind doing it with a head cold because I'm like, it's happy time. Yeah. I'd be doing this anyways. Talking to John like, I feel thick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding a little blue to my mixture. Come, come talk to me while I paint. 
Yeah. And then I like to announce the state of my being to him a bunch. I don't know if any of you do that, but I do that to my partner. <laughs> I'm so sick. How sick are you? I was like, well, why don't you go lay down? Because I want to finish this painting. Got to finish this painting. It makes me feel better. Because it does make me feel better. So as I'm coming around my pumpkin, his darkest little aspects will be all around in this space, but it'll get a little lighter over here. So as I'm coming around this left side, notice that I'm pulling a little more cad into my mix. Okay. And so when I come around here, a little bit lighter. Christine says she's loving her cat's tongue, too. <gasps> it's so nice, isn't it? So nice. So nice. But really, any brush that you love is nice. All our brushes that we love are nice. Getting a little water to improve flow, dipping back in my paint. And just coming along here. Now today is Monday, right? Today is Monday. Tomorrow we're doing the two Witch Sisters. Oh, the Witch Sisters. That's so good. That, that, no, that's Witch Sisters 2. That's, that's Witch Sisters 2. It matches the, the girls in green in the woods. Because we, we, did, we did one kind of like this I'm going to put out a little year, black. Right? Mm -hmm. That was one from last year. Now, Or two years ago. Hard to know anymore. Is, is a blur. How long have we been live? Two, we've been doing <coughs> for almost three years now. This, this is well, our, we've been on YouTube for three years, no. but how long have we been live? Yeah, that's, I think it was our second. This is our third year of live. We then it was our first year of live. Okay, it was our first year of live. Mm -hmm. All right. So a uh, secret to that is I didn't know what I was painting that day. You know, I literally got to the canvas with no plan. I'm, I'm loading <laughs> up with a little black just to put in my nice little... Now, if you go to the to the website, stump right here. Uh, if you go to our website, Lisa's done a fantastic job of curating up a, a a page with all of the different Halloween projects on it. Yeah. So if you go to theartsherpa.com, uh, I think it's forward slash Halloween. Our goal is to someday have thirty one days of Halloween, at least that you guys could paint. You know, we'll 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 double check all uh, all of that and make sure you got a link in the description below. Link in the description. Well, we sound like Phil DeFranco. It's like we know what we're doing. No, I think we just copy people who know what they're <laughs> doing because we sound like Philip DeFranco. Well. <laughs> and today in awesome. In All right, so um, pumpkin, freedom of consciousness, and I'm going to just paint the front here. A little more purple again on the front. Right? A little darker. So many layers on this little guy. Now, Tabitha was asking... Is it? Do you think it's easier to paint on an easel or a flat surface? <sighs> um, we got a sigh answer. That took a thought. Yeah, because it's not. You know, man, you guys, at, you guys love like questions that seem so simple in art and yet are so. It there are a lot of conditions that make one preferential over the other, right? You wouldn't want to do a big work, ever at a table. Um, or you'll end up like Jim Carrey, where he has to work flat and be on that weird scaffolding laying over his work, right? That doesn't seem practical for most of our studios. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you hear that I'm on the news and I squatted in Jim Carrey's studio, that actually happened. <laughs> no, well, not yet, but it could. It could. You, you could totally be <laughs> like, I, I found his studio. I know that he has a giant golden hoard of paint. And we're gonna oh, my go. gosh. His, the, like, the whole space is, like, insane. He, yeah. He's, it's if like, you haven't seen it, check it out. It's amazing. He's not Jim Carrey anymore. But I'll tell you what he is. He's hooked up with paint. That's what he well, is. He's just in the transitional experience of understanding where Jim Carrey is along that spectral line. Only somebody with that art studio could explore those feelings. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's actually, I was, I was really tripped out by his whole thing there. And I would be like, I would love to just chat with him for like, I'm sure it's like every person on planet Earth would love to just sit down and chat with him. But particularly about his current uh, State journey. of being? Yes. Yes. I, I'm, I'm, I want to know more. Well, it's very similar to the, you know, the the, the friends and, and stuff that I've had over the years yeah. that are having similar conversations. So, But I I'm just saying. It. Jim Carrey is an interesting guy. He's an interesting guy. And I'm painting in this pumpkin and with we're more painting purple the pumpkin. on the front. There we go. Look at that. We're, we're and doing you know together. what? Right now, what we all have in common with Jim Carrey, we're painting too. That's true. So we have something in common with a wildly wealthy, world famous superstar. Incredibly talented comedian. Uh, who also is a really talented artist, in my opinion. Uh, yes, he is. And not that anyone has asked my opinion to jury or judge anything. But you recently. showed up to our show, so you get your in opinion. In the past, sure, but not recently. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
What are you doing there? I am just kind of You're fixing sh- up the little areas where I feel like it could use a little more love. Okay. Right. I sh- am also trying not to speed through quite as much as I usually do because I know people are painting along with me. Now, we're right on the edge of the darkness that the camera can see without me making adjustments. Here. That's right. And it's not. we're going to probably not get too much darker until later with this. Okay. So I'm going to also, let's get a little more red on our brush here. See how I'm pulling it out? I like to go pull, 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 pull. Yeah. I sneak up on it and I pull it out. See how I sneak up on it and I pull it out like yeah. Gollum? I sneak up on it and I pull it out. And then I'm going to paint the back of this little adorable, fantastic jack-o'-lantern. The spooky guy with his spooky face. Spooky guy. Spooky guy. Spooky guy. <laughs> You're such a spooky little guy. And I'm going to take some of this color that I did there, and I like to brush it around Mm -hmm. at the top to imply the shape and texture of the pumpkin. Indeed. Now. Now. So here's the thing. On our our painting, if you look in the reference, right? Okay. The light focus we know is over here. Originally, the reference had put it over here, but I moved it back over here because this was wrong. (laughs) <laughs> I had to fix it. So we have a light that's lighting him up, but we also have light coming off of him lighting the grass, which means the hot spot of the light needs to be over here and to the left. Okay. If the grass is most lit up over here, it has to be over here on him. Ah, okay. Yeah. So the lightest part of him, the, the closest, like it's going to go deep red, orange to the white, it's going to be moving from the right to the left. But first... First, Mr. Cooney, we're going to get some of our cad red. We're going to let a little of that purple be in it, but not much. See how it's just a, a shade darker than its natural state? Now, you're just pulling from the edge of your pa- your your paint there. That's what I do. I pull from the edge of my paint. And I'm going to paint a little inside darkness where the carving would be. Let's give it some in, like, let's give the nose some inside darkness where the carving would be. See? Yeah. Just a little bit. Not a biggie. Oh, went a little far, but I'm going to be painting, so that's fine. Sometimes that'll happen when you're working things out. Now, I know I can have some inside darkness right here because this side of the tooth carve would be in some shadow. And they'll have some right here, across here, and then the inside of the tooth carve. And then we'll go along here, just a little bit. And then I can take some just nice red, and let's go on top here, just to say that these are different spaces that you might have. Back into my little purple bit, and let's give him some under little carved depth right here. All right. So there he is. He's already starting to be who he might possibly be. And then what we can do next is we can take a little bit of this red that's dirtied a bit by the purple, grab some yellow, and make this sort of mid-tone value of orange. See this? And we'll paint all this in. And that is sort of our underpainting, our base for all the yumminess and wonderfulness that's going to be going on inside our glowing interior of the pumpkin. And again, his two hoot is all about this space. It's all about the space, about the space, no trouble. (laughs) I didn't do that. That did not happen on this show. There's no need to leave me a comment about that. Oh, my. I would like to say that we're not a variety show, but... No. Man, you No, only that. Josiah Brooks should sing and paint, and maybe my friend Tanya, but definitely not me. Tanya I, can wail. She's she like, can wail. Those two could wail. They could collab. They should. <laughs> they should collab. Tanya's like, yes, please be awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> you got a little bit of a cough today. Do you need more coffee? No, I'm. I'm. What I'm drinking is honey oh, and lemon honey. to keep because because the drainage. 
I'm going back to my speech and debate days in, in uh, school. See, you guys get to know way too much information because we're live, and I can't edit this out. Why would we edit? Oh, the coughing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't think they care. No, I know. <laughs> it's just... I think they're busy painting or talking. I think that's what they're doing, and we are... Um, no, Gail says Mona should sing. <gasps> Mona can sing. She and you know who too, else yeah. can sing? It's Mark Muir. So there's yeah, a group you know, of them. I keep trying to get a collab together of YouTubers Rick. that can sing and art. Rick's another Swede, Swede who can paint, or who can paint who? and sing. Rick. Oh, yeah. And then... Um, we have we have some musical sherbets. We do. We we had an album from musical sherbet. Oh, so, oh, I mean, there's, Mike, there's Mike, some, he made, yeah. He made our he made the bubble song, which is. But I think like painting, singing. You should just sing if it makes you happy. Don't sing because like you know. I was a sherbet who made that. People song. will show up to hear you sing. That's crazy. I mean, I know not to go try out for like American Idol or X Factor, or whatever's left still on air, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going there. Going, hey Simon. Was I secretly fabulously talented and just didn't know it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh I don't. My I goodness. don't. I mean, like, I think Simon Cowell would be a really cool person to know, but I don't envy his his oh fame. Oh my gosh, man, that looks like a really long day. Yeah, he probably gets like he has two flavors of fans, you know, ones who genuinely love him and want to know everything about him, and those who. John knows yeah. it was my secret dream. To get on American Idol singing really badly just so I could get to Simon Cowell to annoy him and then point out that he had a so slower lap than Gordon Ramsay on Top Gear. Yeah. That's my whole thing. I just wanted to get there and heckle him about being slower on Top Gear. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not a good sign. And then I was like, oh, I'm a troll. <laughs> and I'm a weird, crazy. Okay, so anyways. Back to the grass. I've got my number four fan back out. So, and the next thing I want to do is I want to take a little of my yellow, and it can have some of the orange in it. That's okay. Yep. Right? And I'm going to load up some of my green. And let's come here, and I'm going to just add, while we're at this, because I want this to be a little bit dry before I add my other colors, a little of this. And see how right here I'm going whoosh, 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 whoosh. You could do that with your, any brush, doesn't matter. We're just putting a little of that color, loosely mixed, like you do. We can even add a little, saying that some of the light from the pumpkin is into the green. And I, I like this. So this is really nice for me because it doesn't f finger out to the five fingers of fan. Right, it doesn't clump together. It's, it's like the clumpy eyeshadow. Clumpy, clumpy, clumpy. You have to have a... Clumpy, clumpy. All right, so more painting. Okay. Pumpkin. What, what, oh, you're pumpkin It's because it's fun. Okay. What it's brush did fun. you switch to there? I'm still a number four. Well, I'm no, a number four uh, uh, cat's tongue here. Uh, I'm going to take a little of my blue over to my purple and red. And I'm going to give myself a hand here because sometimes I need one. And I'm going to show where my... Wow, I, Bend is going to be, I'm going to do my deepest shadow right here. So I'm going to come from the top, from the stem, and I'm going to bring it around. So hold on a second. I'm going to adjust this up because we can, so I can, you know, when we start the... Oh, well, it's going to get real light in a okay. second. So do you want to? Because it's going to get super light. I'm just trying to... And then I need to have a little one over here. Coming, circling around, and then another... Because squashes have what? They have all these sort of mm -hmm. wrinkles. They're wrinkly bits. So I'm going to bring this here. Give him another little wrinkly bit. And then let's uh, put one, like, say, here along the eye, like that. Yep. I like that. And then we could say one comes down in the middle of the eye. And if it crosses over, if that happens, you don't worry about it. You're just keeping track of where your wrinkly bits are. In pumpkins, wrinkles are good. In people, not as much, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I like my wrinkles. Do you? Yes. I have earned them all. <laughs> You've earned them all. <laughs> all right. And now just, I'm going to grab a little black and a little of my purple, just a little bit. And I'm going to come here at the base, just the base. See how I'm brushing that back and forth? Yeah. At the base, no trouble. All just along the bottom. 
when I go and layer the other colors and grass up there, that dark value will really help me anchor my pumpkin. Yeah, it's almost black there. It's almost black. And I just grab some red, and I'm going to come right here and just make sure that I've got a little... See, I'm brushing up into the toofies. Brushing up into the toofies. It's quite dark. Now I'm going to pay attention to my direction of my brush strokes. I'm stroking them down. Stroke. All right. So we have some basis there. Some basis of some a pumpkin. Some basis of some stuff. All right. Let's get our brighter colors. So I've got a little purple in my mix over here, and I'm getting a little of my red. And you've got to love that I'm using my purple to tone my red, and I'm going to come on this outside, and I need it to be even lighter than what we're seeing here. And I'm going to start talking about this lighter value. And it's going to curve and taper off. I have to leave the bottom shadowed. Don't forget to leave your bottom shadowed. Mm. And curve it around. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Layering him up, man. He's a layered. Just maybe a little bit right here. And a little bit right here. Definitely a little bit here and here. Not very much over here. Just, just softly. A little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. See how it's almost like a dry brush? Mm. Layers. Pumpkins Layers. are la like ogres. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and get a little of your yellow into that. You mean you can scoop them out, put a candle in their head, and put them on your front porch? So this is not a bright orange, is it? It is not. And I'm just dusting the outside edge of my little pumpkin here. And I'm not going to take it everywhere because there's a focus of this light. Look at that. Pumpkins start happening. Now I can come under here with a little bit of a yellow and say that there's a bulge. I'm going to wipe off because that got a little crazy on me. Mm. And just orange that up a bit. But I know I want to put another little highlight right here. It's kind of crazy. Back into my yellow mixture. And then again right here. Mm -hmm. Let's say that there's some right here. Just at the edge. Just at the edge. A couple streaks right there. I'm going to put some right here. Yeah. Now it's also fun to take a little of this and right on the inside, out, this outer edge here of the stem, I'm going to come over and apply another little inside edge. That's going to be lit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get some pure CAD. Let's stroke some at the top. Just stroking some down. Layers, 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 guys. All of that color is focused maybe over here. Maybe mm. put a little under this eye and a little under this eye. Right? Now, I like to come back with a little of my cad and purple once I have that sort of laid in. Just <laughs> brush and blend my shadow back in. See how I'm brushing and blending my shadow back in? Yeah. Now that I know where they are. I can brush and blend them back in. And now that I know where everything is, I can take a little of my cat and my purple. Right? And definitely, definitely darken the front of his. Sam, but I'm being careful of the shape that I have given him. Right? Neatly around the mouth and eyes. See, I'm brushing neatly around the mouth and eyes, but I am paying attention to these directions. Where is he going to be darkest? Right here. Wrong button. Huh? I pushed the wrong button. Oh. So where he's going to be darkest, you just be stronger in your purple. Look, pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull. Not pure purple, but it's darker, and this is layering up. 
and you can pull it up into there. You can pull it around here. Tidy it up. I'm going to tidy it up right there. Got a little crazy, so I'm going to tidy that up. No, but I do want to make sure that I've got a little of this right here. You want a little of what? A little highlight right under the eye right oh. here. Oh, because I implied the, a ridge oh, here. Oh, the ridge thing there. I see. So yeah, I've got yeah, to yeah. mentally continue the ridge, right? Yeah, that does. That you know, I hadn't even thought about that, but you're right. That does make it look correct when I look over at that. I wouldn't have ever. It would look weird without it. All right, sippy sippy. Okay. We're doing pretty good. You're doing really good. We've got some pumpkin coming in, don't we? Mm -hmm. And he's starting to have a. I'm almost out of lemon water. You're almost out of lemon water. Well, that's okay because you look like you're pretty close on this. I am pretty darn close. Uh, it's a good time to change water. Do you, do you, oh, I got you plenty of water, didn't I? You have plenty there. Plenty of water. So now it's a great time to take a little of your red over to your yellow, and you're going to create this nice bright color. Come to the outside edge, mid-range on him. Mm. Make a sort of uneven... See how I'm brushing back and forth, making this a very uneven reflection? Yep. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Let's come right here. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now it's like it's like the wiggles. <laughs> Little wiggle here. One right here. Put one right there. Oh, he could have one right here. Definitely he's got one right there. All right, so now I've picked up some light on him. Now those are the mid-tones, right? Yep. Think about a little bit of a highlight here. Let's come in uh, right there and on that inside edge Oops. of that stem. All right. Now to the white. White and yellow. Right here. Hmm. So we're, we're showing that he has a bright focal light happening on him, aren't we? Isn't that nice? That's how yeah. he's looking. He's a glowing. He is. This is the, the trick is if you painted fire with me before, you might be starting to figure out that there's a formula here to this craziness. Yes. Now here's a trip on him. We're going to do something crazy. We're going to take a little green, a smidge of green, and put it into our blue, and we're going to get some white. You can purple, too, if you need to. And we're going to come to the top of him, and we're going to cast this secondary cool light. Oh, yeah. Isn't I, that beautiful? You know, until you until I you put it on there, I didn't even notice it in the, uh, what do you call it? In, in, in the, the painting? In the painting, yeah. We're going to bring this around his side here. A little bit here. There's a little bit at the top of this one. Doesn't take a lot. It's a little bit, but it makes a big difference to his pumpkinness. And it really just pops his colors, I yeah. think. I think it just makes his colors just super de duper gorgeous. You can go even with a lighter talk about his little ridges if you need to you can come back with a little purple see and define it whatever you need to do here oh. you're cooling this side of the pumpkin down and i like the purple it makes it feel like it's at night it makes it feel like it's at night we're nighting up our pumpkin yeah you know if you lose too much of what you have it's not hard to go put just put it right back in. To put it back in. And you can spend some time layering him. This is where he's challenging is, is figuring out where your layers are working and where you've got to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't paint on it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overwork your painting. You know what? What, I w what would be awesome is to work with somebody like Weird Al Yankovic on oh, a complete no, again, like, parody album. Yes, it would. You know. All right. You're like, you're like no, no, we got to paint. We got to paint. We got to paint. I'm going to take a little of my red here. And I'm going to come to this outside edge. Cinnamon Cooney, Jim Carrey, and Weird Al Yankovic.
No. That would be awesome. I really doubt that either one of those guys have any idea who I am. They live <laughs> no, in a different no, no. stratosphere. <laughs> I, w- I was just postulating that it would be an awesome get together. It would. I like. I love playing like you know mashups all the time. I'm like that'd be cool. I'm just adding this pop of red right here to warm this up. Not everywhere. Notice I'm being kind of loose with that, right? Mm-hmm. Throw Cindy Lauper in there too. Oh my gosh. True colors, I would lose my mind. Little Billy Idol, lose my mind. Not that I need to lose my mind any more than I have. I'm getting my brush <laughs> into the yellow. All right, and I'm going to start warming up the glow right in this space. Yep. Let's glow it up. Let's when, see how we're being like rough and loose with this brush stroke. Now, do you have some suggestions on when to st- when to know to stop working it so you don't overwork? Oh, and boy. and talk. Could you talk a little bit about overworking? I think that needs to be a whole video. But what I will say is, yeah, yeah, there were a couple of people who were asking about it. So no, because it's such a big struggle for artists. It like is. that overworking thing is no joke, and it happens over mixing, over blending. Well, explain what it is. Over blending is the first thing. Okay. So when you Watch really, really, really experienced artists. They have, by their 10,000 hours logged, figured out that moment when your brush needs to stop touching the canvas and it's all good. But when you're really new because you haven't developed a confidence of when something is working and when it isn't, one tends to... um, I see this a lot um, in sometimes art journals where I see someone reach a moment of genius, right? I'm like, that's the best thing I've ever seen. And then they paint over the whole thing. Yeah, they, they, they... Keep John going. doesn't even let me watch those videos. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, no, it's so awesome. But what it is is that sometimes it takes a lot of experience and practice to know when you've nailed it. Yes. Right? And when you'll be looking at work that, I, I hate to say student, but is in transition, is in growth, you'll see areas where the person just was like on it too long. It's overworked. It's overblended. That that it doesn't feel fresh. It doesn't. It's not the same thing as hyperrealism, where somebody's removing all evidence in the media. It's like you can just tell that they were just on this one spot, and probably had hit it and just didn't move on. And and, and the the lines won't have clear or soft. They won't have soft and hard edge definition, and the colors might be muddy. And it's just you missed it, mm-hmm. right? It's you missed it. You missed it? You missed it. With your mister? With your mister. You just, it just like, it, it blew right past you. I'm going to get some more yellow on my brush and come to, where's our light focused at? The left. So I'm going to make sure that my yellow starts to focus. Right? Tabitha thinks a parody album is awesome idea. I would love that. I'm going to come right here. <laughs> and I'm just, can you see that I'm yellowing up this side? Yes. This is where I want to put my yellow, Right. More focused here. They love the plumpkin. They love the plumpkin? The plumpkin, now, they say. your tooth could have a little highlight right here. And I like to actually put even, like, I'm going to get some white on here, like a real light highlight, maybe. See? Yeah. That's kind of cool. You can come on the inside. Trick. Uh-huh. You ready for a trick? I'm ready for a trick. Right here. Okay. Lighten the orange up just a smidge to make sure that it it's a little lighter than the dark outer corners. Oh, yeah. Just a little trick. You don't have to do it, but it is helpful. I'm going to go get a little more of my just pure orange. and I like to, again, I'm cooling this side of my pumpkin. See, by doing this darker color? Yeah. Maybe a little bit here in the corner of the eye. And then lighting this side of my pumpkin with the yellow. I find lighting the mouth like to be like my favorite thing. Another little trick, I'm gonna get some white. Watch this. Oh yeah. Isn't that fun? That's nice. Doesn't that help a little? Yeah. 
Let's come up here. And it almost gives some express. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my hand. Not steady. <laughs> Here's how I'm going to fix that. How's that? Got my brush wet and I'm just going to. Whoop. I'm going to take it back. You're just a color that I used to know. <laughs> okay, so. It's that kind of a day. It and is it, that kind if of the day. head cold continues, it could be that kind of a Halloween. It could be that. We're going to be here all week, folks. <laughs> Get some white on your brush, <laughs> you goofs. Just some white. Put. And see, this is where, where we start maybe, having. Maybe a little yellow on that white. You still want it to have a little bit of the. the, the there we go. Just like ducky. And it's, this is where that white gets so bright, it almost blows out the other direction. Yes. But see how that tells you where the light source is in mm -hmm. his mouth? Let me look at him on the big screen because I can't back up. Ah, oh, he's so glowy. Now you can get the just white. And put a little bit of the focus. Just a little bit. I even like to just da -da -da -da, just a little white there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's almost there, but we need something. So right now, what does it need? there's a background, there's a floating object, there's this weird space, and it's not all integrated. And we need to integrate the space all together. And how we're going to do that is by layering our objects. By pulling our grass in front of the pumpkin and lighting it, we're going to settle him into his canvas. Okay. And he needs to be settled because, you know... He's feeling super restless. So we can get even a little of our purple. Oh, now you're switching brushes on us. I'm a number four fan again. And let's, I'm going to brush a little grass in front of him. Look at it already. I'm on my edge here. And come up. I'm just letting the fan do the work for me. going to wipe this fan off and get just a little more paint. All right. So is he already with just this little bit of red here? What have we done? We've anchored him into the space, right? He's starting to exist. Let's get some yellow on our brush. And let's show that right here He's got a glow. Look at that. Isn't he beautiful? I love these, I love these, these pumpkin paintings. I think they're really great. Put a little of this over here. You can grab, if you need to, you can even get a little green. And now you can pull some of that green in front of him. Mm-hmm. You can grab a little blue. Right there. Look at that. So it's Jennifer just would about, like let's pick a little more highlight. Jennifer would like to know if, if it was in difference pump pumpkin previously, if this one w is now plumpkin. Plumpkin? Plumpkin. They've been, they've been, they've he been can be plumpkin. Our plumpkin in, in. I'm going to add some more. Because he's very plump and, 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 and roundied. And, and he's they roundy, like and he's got a glow, and he's glowing the grass, and we want him to glow the grass, don't we? We do. We like that. It's, it's glowing. It makes the grass glow. He makes the grass glow. He makes the grass glow. Just enjoying that. So, overworking, stopping now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were just talking about that. Yeah. It's just everybody. Everybody. All right, now I've got a sign, my little dude. Yeah. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to take a little of my white and a little of my blue. Because I love that day. Just a little bit of this color. And just very lightly in the grass sweeping up, I'm going to add my signature.
just lightly, lightly. I don't want to take away from my painting because I enjoyed making it. And that's what it's for <sighs> so that I can enjoy making him. And that is how you paint a night glow on a pumpkin. And I hope that this makes it clearer. And if not, I'll make another painting. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> we'll do it. No, I think this is really great. No, we've had it. This is great. We've only had, we had over 400 people. We've had over 460 people painting with us on Halloween a Monday. Awesome. C Cinnamon doesn't get to season. see the chat, so I have Hello. to tell her. Hello, thanks, miss. Hello, thanks, miss. Thanks, Happy Hollow. Hello, thanks, miss. Thanks, Hollowness. No, it's, it's, it's Hollow Thanks Miss. Hollow Thankness? Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Hollow Thanks Mess. Hollow Thank. Okay. Hello, happy Hollow Thanks Mess. Awesome. So awesome. Craft season. Let those football people go where football people go. I don't know. The strong need to craft. <laughs> need to make things for the season. Otherwise, where's the merry and the cheer? Where's the spooky? Not happening. Mm -mm. I can't wait to Bo see. Boop. There you go. Oh, what we've got to do is give them the full full screen. That's what I was trying. I was like, I was like, go this way. There you go. Okay. Let me go over here. They wanted to see this. This is one of the things we forgot to keep doing, right? You guys want to see this sort of? There you go. Full screen. Does that work? We forgot. So we got that in there. Ta-da! Okay, guys. There we go. All right. We did it. We did it. We painted a painting. Painting. Did it. Where's? <laughs> Koki, where's my <laughs> frogs? You guys are the best. Like, literally. Remember, uh, you know, tomorrow we're going to be back, and we're going to be back for 13 days. 13 days. Till Friday the 13th. Yeah. Where one of you will be very, very lucky. Mm -hmm. And we're going to carve pumpkins. And and thank you guys, just in general. We love you. You, I mean, like, <laughs> so the understatement of the of week. The yeah. Well, yeah. more on that coming soon. We love you guys. Yeah. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. I want to see you at the easel for spooky painting really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>